Imposter syndrome is a feeling that can be found everywhere, but it does seem to be most prevalent in our industry of cybersecurity, at least in my opinion. For those that don't know what imposter syndrome is, when you have a lot of self-doubt, feel inadequate, and also fake, meaning you don't belong. And this persists even when you have evidence of the knowledge and skills. To be completely transparent, imposter syndrome is something that I constantly battle with. Which is why in today's video, I wanted to share with you some of the tips that I use to help me tackle imposter syndrome. My tip number one is nobody is perfect. When you're talking with clients, it's very easy to trick yourself into believing that you have to know all the answers. And that's simply just not true. It is unrealistic to absolutely know everything. There will always be something that you just simply don't know. And you have to remind yourself that it's okay to not know. The field in cybersecurity is vast and always changing. Nobody's going to expect you to have an answer every single time. So it's okay to say that you're not sure and that you'll do some research and get back to them. Tip number two, acknowledge your accomplishment. Take the time to applaud yourself on your accomplishment. Remember where you started, reflect on your progress, and think about how far you've come. Make a list of your accomplishments, your successes, different experiences that you've had, and also your skills that you learned because those are evidence of your dedication and hard work. Remember, you are not here because of a fluke, but because you took the time and effort to put in the work to become someone great. Tip number three, talk about it. Talk with others. You will most likely find other colleagues who have similar doubts. You can share your experience and possibly learn new ways on how to deal with imposter syndrome. If you want, you can talk to your manager, ask for some feedback on how you're doing. If there are areas that you can improve, you can definitely go and tackle that to help you tackle your imposter syndrome. And also the positive feedback that they provide, or at least I hope they provide you some positive feedback, can improve your self-confidence. When you catch yourself thinking that you're not good enough, challenge those thoughts with evidence of your competence. Tip number four, keep learning. I'll sound like a broken record, but constantly expand your knowledge and skills in cybersecurity because ongoing learning can boost your confidence and reinforce what you know, which will give you a sense that you're not all talk and you can walk the walk as they say. You have the skills and knowledge to back you up and prove how you got to where you are today. Tip number five, practice self-compassion. Don't be so hard on yourself. Instead, try to treat yourself with kindness, understanding, and ice cream. You want to always make sure you set realistic expectations for yourself, knowing that perfection isn't attainable. Think about what success looks like for you and imagine yourself succeeding in your cybersecurity endeavors. If you visualize it, you may start to believe it is possible. Those are the five tips that I do to this day to tackle imposter syndrome. Let me know in the comment section down below on how you may deal with imposter syndrome because I'm sure that I can learn from you as well. And that is it for the video. If you found it informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.